Hey everybody, welcome back to the Man Cave. Um, so I'm trying to squeeze in a couple more videos for October. I'm not sure how many more I'll be able to get, but I thought this was uh, pretty cool. So I found this file on Thingiverse, and I gave it to a buddy of mine who has a resin 3D printer. And uh, he printed this out for me. Let's see, where's the camera? There it is. I'm not sure how well you guys can see it. But they call this the Forbidden Apple. So, I'm going to make a mold out of this. And I got a 3 inch uh, PVC pipe. I got a piece of cardboard hot glued to the bottom. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to hot glue this into... And then, I've got some, uh, some of the Illumilite um, Amazing Mold cast stuff the red stuff and uh, I'll pour some of that in here now I'm gonna go ahead and get this hot glued in and we'll come back when I am ready to pour the mold mix okay everybody I got about six ounces mixed up I'm gonna pour it in here and see if that fills it up if not we'll mix up some more and I'll show you the uh, mold when I'm done all right, so as you can see, the first six ounces wasn't enough, so I mixed up another six ounces. Now, <clears throat> this mold making stuff from uh, Illumilite, the amazing mold maker, they're only 16 ounce total for a kit. So this is uh, almost using up the entire... Um, mix so i'll come back after i get this thing fully poured and uh we'll go from there all right so it took about 12 ounces but i got the mold poured we're gonna go throw it in the pressure pot and uh, we'll come back in about roughly eight hours whenever i should be able to demold this thing hey everybody so i finally got it out of the pvc i don't know if i used enough stoner whenever i sprayed inside there but uh Looking at the original, I think I used quite a good bit on it. Um, the only thing I wasn't happy about was the stem broke off. And I keep forgetting the cameras on this side got, or the cameras on this side of the phone I'm using. So I apologize for going back and forth on the camera here. Um, but I can easily glue this back on. Uh, but, uh, I had to split it down the sides to get it out of there because of the obvious shape. But uh yeah. I'm uh I'm pretty happy with it right now. I still need to test it out. Um I'm gonna find a rubber band to put around the top of it to hold it together, and then I'll mix up some resin, do a test pour, and uh we'll go from there. Alright everybody, so I mixed up about six ounces of uh, Artworks resin and I used some Caster's Choice White Pearl, some random glow in the dark powder that I got off of eBay. And I don't know if Craft Attack uh, still carries this or not. I haven't seen it on their website in a while, but uh, some fairy dust. And I uh, don't know if you could tell how swirly that looks, but. I'm going to go ahead and fill this up. I couldn't find a rubber band, so I just used some tape to tape it together. It's coming loose already. Uh, I sprayed it down with some regular stoner. I'm going to grab another piece of tape and see if I can uh, wrap this up a little more before I pour it. So I'll be right back. Alright guys, so we're so, sorry about the angle of the camera and everything. My workspace is a mess for one. And two, I... Don't really know how to set this thing up any better than while I got it right now. But I got about six ounces here. I'm going to pour it into the mold and see if we have any left for one. And uh, then go throw this in the pressure pot. Alright, so that took about three ounces. So, uh, let's see how much this is going to be left after it gets inside of the pressure pot. I'll be back when I pull this. Hey guys, so I got the mold out of the pressure pot and I took out the apple. 
Now, I'm happy with the way the apple looks, minus two things. One, I got these ridges on the bottom where I'm guessing the bottom of the apple didn't line up right. And two, the obvious red that came off with the mold. I'm not sure what caused that. I'm curious if my original might not have been cured long enough, so I'm going to put this under a UV black light and see if I can't get it to cure up some more. If that doesn't work, I'll put it in my front dash because tomorrow I'm on day shifts, so I'll uh, it'll be out in the sun. So that'll help cure this if it's not fully cured, if that was what the cause was. But <clears throat> I'm going to use a flat color next time. Not happy with the red that came off of the mold, as I said. Uh, but what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take some Craft Attack UV resin. I'm going to mix in some uh, apple green from Pearlex. And on one of my next ones, I'll do some blood red. And I'll paint where the peels are on here. Put that under a black light, get that nice and clear. So whenever uh, I come back, I'll have this one done up like that. Now, I debated on painting the eyes and nose to the skulls on here to where it'll pop more. But uh, I don't think I'm going to do that with this one. But this one will probably be my personal, one of my personal ones. Uh, simply because I'm not happy with the full way it turned out. I may do, I may actually paint over that. And try and do something else with this but for now that's where we are on here like I said I'll do up some uh, some of the UV resin I'll paint the peel and uh, we'll come back after that and I'll show you where it's at all right everybody so it took a couple of coats so I'm gonna try something different um, on my next one but so far this is Coming really close to what I'm trying to do here. So, uh, um, I think what I needed to do was maybe sand it down and put a coat of paint on the bottom and then paint brush over it. I'm not sure. I haven't really done this before like this. So, this is a first try for me. But, again, it's uh, heading in the right direction. I probably will be pouring at least one more mold, if not two, of these. Um... Yeah, I got to clean this one up because there's still some ridges down here and everything, but I figure uh, I got a um, box cutter. I'll try and trim that up a little bit, and since I'm putting the uh, uh, UV resin, excuse me, over it, um, should be able to clean it up pretty good. So, let me uh, see if I can't figure out what to do here on the bottom. And the video isn't doing it justice, I don't think. But it's, uh, it's coming along nicely, I think. Alright, everybody. So, again, this is the top. Which I thought was pretty light. And that's the bottom. I think you can see the bottom a little better, but you can still see the black paint that I put underneath it. So, I got to find something kind of in between there. Um, but yeah, otherwise, I think this is turning out pretty good. Um, I'll probably put one more coat on the bottom. And then see about maybe doing one more on the top. And uh, then uh, I'll come in and do my closing statements, get some pictures. And uh, yeah. So, uh, stand by and uh, I'll paint this up, up a little more and see how it looks. Alright everybody, so I put another coat on the top and another one on the bottom. The bottom one is obviously darker because of the black. And I think it kind of brings the color out a little more. But I think the top looks more like what a Granny Smith apple would look like. Um, still debating on if I want to paint the stem or not. I may do that. I'm not sure. Like I said, this is a test. So this one's actually staying like it is now. Um, 
I will be making another mold and uh, making a few more of these. Uh, trying to figure out how I want to do it because I still I still want to do one with a red peel. Um, and then I've got some color shift pigment that I got from uh, Timu that looks like a, a orangish color to red kind of. And that looks more like what some apples look like. So I want to try that as well to see what how it all looks. But I won't be using pearl for the main part because as much as I would like to say, you can definitely see the big skull there and some of the smaller ones but I want it to be something to where you can definitely see the definition of the skulls um, I thought about painting the eyes and nose in some of these but I figure with the um, for as much time that that would take to do I don't know if it would be worth it um, in the long run if I was this, uh, me selling these at Mad Monster in February I think it would I would have to charge more if I painted them. So I'm not looking to paint them. But I may do some other colors as well. But for starters I'm going to do like a uh, an opaque white. Um, so anyway. I'll get some pictures up at the end here. And uh, if you guys have watched this far and you like what you saw. Give it a thumbs up. If you watched this far and you didn't like what you saw. Uh, comment on it. Share the video. Comment if you comment on it. Tell me what you think. Tell me if uh, tell me if you like the way this is looking, and if you think this is something uh, you'd like to see me do more of, uh, like three D prints, making a mold, and then doctoring them up, or I don't know exactly how to word it, but um, yeah, let me know if you've done something similar to one of one of these uh, one of these forbidden fruits. Um, if you want to see more of my videos, hit the subscribe button down on the bottom and then over on the other side, hit the bell. YouTube will let you know when I do a new video. Um, I try to do these once a week. I'm slacking a little bit. Uh, this is a time frame where me and my family mostly do a lot of our uh, vacations outside of, uh, summer. Um... And for those of you who have subscribed, it means a lot. I appreciate it. So until next time, have a good one.